Oh my God, literally. <laughs> we have a moral failure at God TV. I'm not kidding. I didn't even know there was a thing called God TV. I just found out. Uh, and that's because Rory Alec, co-founder with his wife Wendy, oops, just resigned because he said of his moral failure. He said he won't be on this season. <laughs> Can you return for a second season on God TV after moral failure this season? Okay. But the second the, coming of God TV. Yeah. That's right, when he gets arisen. No, <laughs> Three TV. days later, he's going to come back. It's God TV 2, the repentening. <laughs> I think the second coming spelled with a U. Is that right? Okay, well, maybe for this guy. Yeah, for this guy, right? Yeah. So I, I, I love that there's a God TV. <laughs> I love that they fucked up. Yes. <laughs> okay, which is, of course. What was going to happen? If, I can't believe they went 20 years without somebody screwing up earlier, right? Been One of the founders. 20 years? Apparently, I don't wow. know where the hell they're on, right? Yeah. Maybe they're up in heaven. That's why we never got it. <laughs> A bunch of atheists and agnostics up here. Okay, so, <laughs> but the main reason I want to do this story, other than it's, I find the entire thing hilarious, is the last couple of paragraphs here in, from Raw's story, okay? So it turns out Wendy Alec, the co founder, the wife, is going to, you know, they've already cleaned out uh, Rory from the website. He's not going to wow. co host. That's okay. She's going to co host with another God TV personality, Benny Hinn. Okay. Oh. Okay, Benny Hinn, like, do, 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 do. Okay, so here's the paragraphs explaining that. Hint went through a divorce from his wife of 30 years in 2010, following rumors that he was having an affair with fellow evangelist Paula White, who was separated from her evangelist husband, <laughs> Randy White, I've been cheating on him. in the wake of an IRS investigation into financial improprieties at their church. Oh, His church was also scrutinized as part of an investigation that looked at five evangelical organizations. He's the guy replacing the guy who had the moral <laughs> failure. Okay, but we're not done. Hin re remarried his wife in 2013, blaming her surprise divorce filing on her addiction to prescription drugs and on his lack of attention to her and their children as he fulfilled his ministerial duties. How bad are these people? <laughs> like, what, Satan TV ain't got nothing on God TV. They're like, God, man, we look like Boy Scouts compared to God TV. Do we know what the moral failure was that this oh, original guy it is It is inconceivable for? that it wasn't sex. Yeah, the only yes. question is what kind of sex? <laughs> oh, maybe it was gay sex. Of course, mm. because look. He would say if it wasn't. Like, really, you think? If it was with another woman, he would say that. But it, because it's gay sex, he wants to keep it under wraps, right? I, there's a good chance of that. Now, obviously, there's Maybe he was just experimenting with crystal meth. <laughs> no, but look, here's now. Here's why I think that Jimmy's likely to be right. Maybe because he was these experimenting with Chris Methyl as a little different guy. Go ahead. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> because these guys, they look they, like you guys were saying in the beginning. Oh, second chance. I want to talk to Jesus. Jesus says it's okay. I mean, that's yes. You know, God TV 101. Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. every commercial break. Yeah, all the politicians, all the Christians that have sinned, right? So they come out, and everybody knows. Like, if you go to Christians, oh, he's, he's screwed around on his wife. Everybody's like, so what? Right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, if he was on drugs, it's easy. Oh, my wife accidentally filed the divorce papers because she was, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? I mean, Benny Hinn got divorced, had an IRS investigation, his wife's on crack, and he's still on there, right? Only if it's a guy do you go, ah, uh, uh, the moral failure, please don't ask any more questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we don't know though, we don't know that speculation. Final paragraph of the article. God TV's focus is on the youthful Christian demographic with an emphasis on universal sinfulness <laughs> and guilt of fallen man, making him subject to God's wrath and condemnation, according to their mission statement. Okay. Practicing with a preach. Who lives their life <laughs> like thinking about God's wrath and condemnation? Hey, I want to tell about the, the kids of America about God's wrath and condemnation. Like twisted dudes, you know what I'm saying? And then their focus is on universal sinfulness and the guilt of fallen man. Well, check, check. <laughs>